Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a Python program to display the hollow rectangle triangle pattern as you guys can see here. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pattern and I'm going to write it in terms of rows and columns. So we can say that this is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row and fifth row. And similarly, we have first, second, third, fourth and fifth column. By looking at this, we can easily say that number of rows present in equal to number of columns. If the user says he wants this pattern for 10 rows, then we need to have 10 columns. That's the one observation that we can make. And after that, if you look at this, then we are printing star and spaces in this uh, pattern. So the star is the visible character and the spaces are not visible. Now, how we're going to build this pattern is we will begin with the first row. We will have some logic and depending on that, we will print the uh, amount of stars that we have to print and also amount of spaces that we have to print. We will display them. Then to print the next row, we go to the next line and there also we will display the star and uh, empty spaces, you know, depending on the logic that we will construct next. And then we go to the third row. We will do the same thing. We will display star and spaces wherever we have to display them. Then we go to the fourth row. We will do the same thing. And then we go to the fifth row and we will display the stars and spaces depending on the logic. Now, if you look at this pattern, then we are displaying the star in the first column of every row. So that will give us this straight line. And then we have to display the stars in every column of the last row, which will give us this shape. And then we have to display the stars at certain positions to get this diagonal line. So the first two observations are, we have to display the stars in the first column of every row. And we have to display the stars in every column of the last row. These are the two observations. And for this line is concerned, then we can say that whenever we have row number equal to column number, we have to display the star. That is, if you look at this, then when the row number and column number are one, we are displaying star, this one. When the row number and column number are two, we are displaying star. Then the row number and column number are three, we are displaying star. Similarly, here and here also, whenever row number and column number are four, we are displaying star. And whenever the row number and column number are five, we are displaying star. So whenever we have row number equal to column number, we have to display star and we have to display the stars in the uh, first column of every row. And we have to display the star in the every column of the last row. So we have to consider these three things and we have to write the program. Okay. Now the first thing that we do in our program is we will ask the user for how many rows he wants the pattern. So I'm going to use the input function and I'm going to ask the user to enter the number of rows and the user will enter the number and this input function will return that in string form. So we will convert that to integer form by wrapping it using the int function and then we will store that number in a variable and I'm going to call that total rows and also keep in mind in this pattern total number of rows equal to total number of columns. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to start displaying the pattern row by row. So for that we will take a for loop and this for loop is for the rows and I'm going to call this variable as row number and it will be in a range and the range will start from one and it will run up to total rows plus one. That's because the working of this range function, you know, this end value is not inclusive. Um, if the user says I want five rows and if I write only one comma total rows in here, it will become range one comma five. So this function will provide us one, two, three, four, five is not included. So to get one, two, three, four, five, we will add plus one here to take advantage of this range function according to our need. And after that, for every row, we need to have columns and for that also we will take a for loop and I'm going to call this variable as column and it will be in a range and the range will start from one and the number of columns that we need to have is equal to 
total number of rows present in the pattern you know if the pattern has 10 rows then we need to have 10 columns for every row so here also we will have total rows plus one and this plus one is for you know taking advantage of this range function to our need and after that what we want to do for that every column of every row so let's just print some uh, something in that let's print star and after printing star in one particular co column for a particular row what we want to do is we want to add a space so that the next character that will be printed in that row will have some separation and it will look good okay so we're going to come out of this inner for loop which is for the columns and what we want to do after printing one particular row so what we want to do is we want to go to the next line for printing the next row so i'm going to call this print function and i'm not going to print anything so it will insert a new line in here now i'm going to save this program and if i run this code enter the number of rows i'm going to say five now you guys can see we get this grid and now we have to apply our logic so that the stars can appear only in certain places and the pattern will look like a hollow rectangle triangle pattern so the conditions that we have seen here is first we need to display the stars in the first column of every row so we will use the if conditional statement and whenever we have the column number is equal to one here comparison operator one we will display the star if the column number is not equal to one then we will have the else part and we will display a space so we will print the space and after that we will end that with a space and the space that we are specifying here as the end value will just add the separation between the columns okay now we know another condition that is we need to display the star in every column of the last row so whenever we are in the last row we want to print the star for every column so we will add or here and we will insert another condition and that is if the row number is equal to total rows then we will uh, display the star here this row number variable will contain the uh, row number you know one two three four five in whichever the row we are working you know it will contain that number so this total rows variable will contain the number of rows present in the pattern so if the user says i want the pattern for 10 rows then this total rows variable will contain 10 and the last row number will be 10 because we are starting the count from 1 and that's why we're checking here whether we are in the last row in that case we want to print the star in every column okay now if i save this program and if i run this code enter the number of rows i'm going to say 5 now you guys can see we get the l shape in here now we have to write the logic for getting that diagonal line and that is whenever we have row number equal to column number we have to display the uh, star so we will add that here we will insert another condition by using or and here we will say if row number is equal to column number we want to display the star if any one of this condition is true we will be displaying the star else we are displaying the space now if i save this program and if i run this code and if i enter the number of rows as 10 now you guys can see we get this pattern now you guys can uh, make a lot of modifications and uh, you can get different patterns um, for example if you want to display the star in the every column of the first row and if you want to display the star in the last column of every row you know if you make that modification and if you save the program and run the code and if you enter the number of rows as 10 or any other value then you guys can see we get the complete opposite of that pattern we were working on so just by making small modifications we can get it to you know display different different patterns so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like it hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you later in the next video